The dream is definitely real. The Windy City Cinderella is what you can call them for now. Shocking the world, going to the Final Four. Now they have a chance to, believe it or not, win a national championship. The first one in 55 years. I want to be here. I want to support. This is just like a milestone. It is us witnessing history um, since 1963. So that is the goal. Like, we want to repeat. Now to kind of break this all down for us and talk about the impact of it is Phil Thompson with the Chicago Tribune. Thanks for joining us this morning, my man. So, I mean, we don't want to look too far ahead here. No. But a Final Four is a crowning achievement for any basketball program. This has to be pretty big for Loyola's future. No, absolutely. I mean, it, it puts them on a certain status uh, that can't be denied. And it's especially uh, endearing when it's a, a, a mid-major school uh, like Loyola. I mean, it validates them. And it validates the conference. No doubt about that. It's also going to give them a lot of money. I saw this stat that George Mason, when they went to the Final Four in 2006, they got an estimated $677 million in free advertising. So yes. this is going to pay off big for the university overall. Now, you look at the Northwesterns and DePaul's happening here in Chicago. This has to have an impact on them as well, right? Oh, absolutely. I mean, I think it, it puts, in terms of recruiting, it, it puts Chicago on the map. It, it shows, if you can show some consistency, uh, you know, the big secret or the not so big secret uh, in Illinois is that we couldn't keep our recruits. Hopefully now we start keeping our recruits when you, when you look at, uh, you know, homegrown products like Dante Ingram, mm -hmm. like Lucas Williamson. I mean, we're even attracting people from other states like the the Blue Valley Northwest boys and uh, Custer and Richardson I right. mean it 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 puts Illinois back in the conversation I think yeah It'd be great to get some of that NBA talent to stay here for sure. Yeah. Uh, we definitely did not have them going this far. Loyola just keeps on rolling, shocking everybody. They toppled Kansas State, dominated them in that game, and now they're on to San Antonio to face the Michigan Wolverines. Here to preview it for us is Phil Thompson with the Chicago Tribune. We've been here all morning talking about these Loyola Ramblers and this magic run they're on. What do you like about this Loyola team going into that game on Saturday? Well, I love their defense. I, I love how they distribute the ball. Uh, they, they get it moving around. But the thing that worries me in this matchup is Michigan does the same thing. Mm -hmm. They're the, the best defensive team left uh, in this tournament. So they do a lot of the same things that Loyola does. They, they don't have any one prolific score. Uh, they, they share the ball uh, just like Loyola does. So they're going to have to. Loyola's going to have to beat somebody that plays their own game. That's going to be definitely something different we've seen uh, that we've been seeing this whole tournament for them. Uh, how do you think they'll fare against that? I still think that they can beat the Wolverines. Uh, the, the Wolverines struggled earlier in the season, then they went on a hot streak. Uh, but uh, they were nobody's pick to make the Final Four either. So uh, why not Loyola? Yeah, it's been really magical to see what they've done, always beating expectations. I had them out against Nevada. <laughs> and they managed to find a way to get that done. So at this point, anything is possible. Well, we'll find out this weekend what happens. For now, I'm live from Loyola, Brandon Pope, The Jam.